how's everyone doing on this windy day? Don't even know if you can hear me right now. You probably can. Welcome to another episode of I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I am thinking we're gonna install some mud flaps. It is windy here, but kind of nice out. It is kind of nice out, so I'll take it. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. He's going with us this trip. <clears throat> First things first, gotta take my makeshift rock tamers apart so that we get two usable mud flaps out of it. So I got four screws put in each of these, so we'll grab the drill and uh Take these and screw them under the truck. Now the mechanics told me to use just self-tapping screws, so we're gonna see how well that works now. Hey Max, are you a good boy? Here for this, I got some locking washers, self-tapping screws. Hopefully it works well, but we'll have to see. I just screwed the uh, mud flap into it. The screws weren't long enough to go on with the washer. I got one on here, another one on in there, but I don't know, nothing would stick into this plastic here. Put two screws in really carefully, but uh, yeah, it doesn't work very well. So yeah, so that's, that's it. Should hold, should be fine for now. Is it'll serve a purpose once you get some weight on it these will be almost touching the ground to the other side and it is the next day uh just pretty much ran out of daylight yesterday So there's a couple more screws I'd like to get in, but it's not going. I'd like to get some more down along the bottom. So what I'm gonna do... Can I help you? Oh, go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Good boy! Those are installed. Um, I want to get some more screws in the bottom. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do, hook onto the trailer, jack it up. We'll see if it works. It's bacon. Max. <laughs> get it, Max. Oh, perhaps you did get it. Max, leave it. Here, bacon. Good boy. One of you actually asked for a video of cleaning the bed of the truck up. Um, I know it was pretty sarcastic, like just calling my truck a mess, which it is. So here we go. Let's roll it. Now it's off to the dump where we're gonna get rid of the rest of the crap. Wood, it's whatever we don't need.
right, so a few things are going. See, the problem I have is I can kind of keep the truck organized until I get really busy. And unless I have a really good, solid uh, like method, a system, to keep things clean, um, it just it just doesn't work. Like right now, inside of the cab, I got all the tools put under the seat. I took out what I didn't need, took out what I could buy if I needed it. Um, that even being a socket set, I just have the basic necessities. That works, you know, I have a garbage there hooked onto the, uh, the glove box uh, lid. That works well. Receipts go in above the glove box. That works well as well. Well, 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 well. So what I'm thinking of doing is making a video organizing the back of the truck, like actually organizing the back of the truck, putting boxes in for straps, dividing up the 10 foot and the 25 foot straps, uh, place put fuel cans, like strap everything in so it's nice and tidy all the time and everything is right where I need it when I need to use it. Video idea? Let me know what you guys think. I think it'd be fun. I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> all right, not throwing these out. And now we start throwing stuff out. Towel here. I don't know why we got a towel. I don't know where that towel is from. This towel is from uh, when my sunroof stopped working. That happened. My sunroof stopped working. I called the dealership. They said it's a minimum of $700 and a maximum of $3,500 to fix. Never, ever opening the sunroof again. Yeah. The strap is actually stuck. The strap is actually stuck inside of the ratchet. I couldn't even get it out, so garbage. This here is all of my useful good straps except for that. Basically what I want to do is I want to get Tupperware tubs um, whenever I can remember them next when the stores are open. Some Tupperware tubs so that I can so that I can actually put dividers in it and divide the 10 foot from the 15 foot from the 25 foot straps. I've noticed that when you keep a truck clean you know where everything is and where everything's going. It is a whole lot easier to get load strapped on, especially in bad weather. Yeah, so like the back of this truck is full of rocks, like this. Like these rocks are from hitting the trailer and coming back in. So I'll finish this video up. I'm gonna finish this video off, um, like later on the whole truck cleanup. It's looking a lot better now, but I uh, want everything really nice and organized. Like I have no tailgate, and I have no intentions of ever running a tailgate again. Because see, what's nice is that from right here, remember the tailgate when it comes down, it's like out here. From here, I can reach the ball to lock it, chains, and the breakaway. Because of that, I'm gonna put a net, a tailgate net, where you just unclip and push to the side. And I'm going to have everything separated in boxes and like little racks and yeah. It's probably gonna include some Tupperware tubs. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be super organized. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, for my viewers with the OCD, you're gonna enjoy it. But it's better than it was. So that strap is gonna stay at home. Dunnage, spare pull chain, a couple fuel cans gonna stay somewhere there big mang of straps most of them are rolled up but they come unrolled I don't even know what to do about that that's it for cleaning uh, cleaning the back of the truck up a lot better everything stuffed in that freezer there so it doesn't kill any animals and ah, shit I gotta put that in the truck all right that's done that's great for the environment yeah let's prevent cancer with exhaust water. It's like pretty much every video I get asked why why the truck's not deleted. And the answer is pretty simple. There's a couple answers actually. Um, one is that it's two grand, like plus tax, like it's like $2,500. And it's uh, illegal in Ontario. So if I wanted to take this truck anywhere, if I wanted to go across the country with it, it would be illegal. I already got a ticket 
uh, for having my F-250 in Ontario, just for having it in Ontario. But I mean, really, other than the DEF, um, it's just a pain in the ass and kind of expensive. There's no real reason to delete this thing. Um, I get great fuel economy. Uh, when empty, I get, you know, 11, 12 liters per hundred kilometers, which you can't ask for much better than that. And uh, that's like almost 20 miles a gallon for you states, guys. Lots of, it has plenty of power for me. And the system works, it works well. I idle the truck all the time. I sleep in this thing sometimes. Um, this, I have no trouble to leave this idling for uh, like two or three days if I have to. And then I run it hard and the white shit comes out of the exhaust and it works. It, it just, the system just works for me. Having a quiet truck for me uh, makes sense right now because I do a lot of deliveries like in neighborhoods. You know, the F-250 is it's more like a run and gun truck. You know, that's my deleted truck. I have a deleted truck. When I want to drive a deleted truck, that's the truck I use. Um, so it's not really a huge deal to me because I already have a deleted truck. This is just a more professional setup instead of having a big loud truck. Um, but as soon as it gives me a hint of problems, I will delete it but maybe we'll have the truck sold by then. Who knows? You're coming with me. Nope. Get truck. Bye down. Good boy. Mosquitoes are going nuts out here. That should give us the room we need to install the thing. There's a lot of cracking up here. Alright, now for a quick pre-trip. Everything looks splendid. Let's get out of here. Man, this place is like a freaking fly graveyard right now. Man, what a mess. Going to Port Oak. It's about a 45 minute drive and we're picking up some lumber. And it's all, everything on the trailer is going to the same place. It was kind of cool. Get rolling and uh, get that done. We are currently in Port Hope Simpson. Um, that was like a 45 minute drive, as I said before we left. Um, gotta figure out where I'm supposed to pick up this lumber now. All right, let's finish getting the fuel in the truck and uh, figure that out, get loaded, then get out of here. All right, so we're gonna check out how the mud flaps are performing. So most of the rust is still on the trailer, which means that if I painted it, chances are it would hold up. A few rock hits here and there, but it looks like it's not nearly as bad as it used to be. Nothing to be too worried about. That's what I like to hear. So far, so good. I'm actually a bit surprised. <laughs> but, uh, going. All right, we are pulling up to the rest area. It's only another 57-ish kilometers until we hit pavement again. So we're going to check the load and check our badly installed mud flaps one more time. Crazy. 
I think that is pretty friggin' successful. Pretty happy with that. Let's do a quick walk around here of the load. Awesome. I definitely can't say I was amazed or anything, but uh, it wasn't bad. The road was not bad. Uh, there were some significant potholes, but I mean, only hit like a handful of them, so it wasn't bad at all. Let's keep going. I'll probably finish up this video uh, in the daytime after I get up. Uh, it's currently 4 in the morning. I'll talk to you guys then. The trailer's looking good. Alright guys, see you tomorrow. So we made it back in Goose Bay. Nothing to it. Looks like mud flaps held up. I don't know how long these are going to last over time, but uh, looks like nothing came loose. So let me know what you guys think of the mud flaps. Um, should I just go and buy the, like a proper set for this truck, something that might look a bit better? Or... I don't know, let me know in the comments. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. I'm not even going to tell you, you guys are big girls and boys. So, yeah. Another trip done. Another trip for the Danger Industries archive. Yeah, that's the word. Thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a good day.